procedure appears to have been successful. So Franco thinks he's me. He identified himself as Chief Petty Officer Andrew Kane. He believes it's 2012 and that he's deployed in Afghanistan. You don't understand. You need to listen to what I'm trying to sure tell you. I'm not sure who you're working for, but you cannot keep me here against my will. Against your will? Oh, Franco, no, that's not what we're doing. Why do you keep doing? calling me Franco? Because that's who you are. No, I'm Chief Petty Officer Andrew Kane. No, you are Franco Baldwin, and I am your wife. It's me. I, it's, it's Elizabeth. Don't you remember? Look at your hand. Look, this is your your, your wedding band. Don't you, don't you remember on Valentine's Day? We are the PCPD. And I vowed to, to love you forever. And I told you that you freed my soul. And, and you said that I taught you how to love. Don't you remember any of that? No, ma'am. What? I'm very sorry, ma'am. But I've never seen you before in my life. Yeah, Franco, please, well, Jen, you I just, I just want need you to trouble. listen to me. Please, I just need you to step aside so that I can leave. Please. Hey, Franco. Right. Ooh, Epiphany, yeah. 20 milligrams of phenobarbital. You, you cannot get your hands, get your hands off of me. All right, please, okay. calm down. You've been through a very traumatic event. Hey, 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 just stop, just stop, just stop. Please stop. <laughs> you just do. It's going to be OK. Oh, it's going to be OK. No, I need to go. Okay. You got to let me go. You gotta let me go! <clears throat> well, Franco's back in bed. What did you give him? Just a little something to help him relax, but he's not gonna be out for long. Then what did he do? Try to get through to him again? Well, I'm gonna talk with Noro to try to get you some answers. Thank you. Hang in there. Thanks. So, Dr. Cabot was right. Franco has Drew's memories. This is far beyond anything I've ever seen before. I will order an MRI, but in the meantime, I think it's important to confront him with the facts. That he's not Drew Kane, that he's Franco Baldwin. Where am I? It's okay. What have you done to me? What did you give to me? It's just a mild sedative to help you relax. Do you, do you remember me? We spoke earlier. I don't know you. I don't know any of you. I'm a doctor, and we're only looking after your best interests. Clearly. That's why you abducted me. That's why you're keeping me here, wherever the hell we are. I can explain everything. So if you just give me a chance, you hear me out, you can decide what you believe. How does that sound? Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice. I know this is very jarring, but you are in the United States. That can't be. I've been deployed to Afghanistan. No, you weren't. You weren't deployed anywhere. And you're not Andrew Kane. Why do you all keep saying that? Because you're not. I'm Andrew Kane. The memories you have don't belong to you. They belong to Drew. And you are Franco Baldwin. I'm sorry, I, I need to take this. It's a colleague who specializes in memory study. I'm hoping he can help. Drop all this on me and now you're just gonna leave. I'll be back. Hmm. I promise. You honestly believe that you're my wife? I am your wife. And you really believe that you're me? Except that you look nothing like me. Drew looks different because he was hit by a car and he had to undergo extensive facial reconstruction. I'm not sure I buy that. It happened, Franco. All right, let's say it did. Let's say that you're me with a new face. How do you explain my face? I, you haven't looked in a mirror yet, have you? Nope. Sure, I'll play along. I'm not sure how much longer you two can keep this up. 